California produces 80% of the world's almonds, but this year production decreased across the state. One local grower tells me not only did supply chain issues and the drought factor in, but also inflation. It's been a tough year. On top of that, we've had uh, bad market conditions because of uh, you know, oversupply. Brett Seal, a local almond farmer in Shafter, is just one of the almond growers that says this year wasn't the same for the crop. We've probably planted a lot of almonds over the last few years and went from you know, a 2 billion pound crop to over a 3.2 billion pound crop. Richard Waycott, president and CEO with the California Almond Board, says the decrease took place across California. We have a very long history of increasing acreage in our um, in our crop, uh, going back you know decades, and for the first time ever, uh, as reported by Land IQ last month, we saw a slight decrease in total acreage, about 25,000 acres. Waycott adds this industry is harder than some may realize, and this year didn't help. It's just this incredibly high risk business where, as we've discussed uh, in the last few minutes, so many things are beyond your control. Despite the tough year, Sill says they are looking forward to the new year and creating unique ideas for people to buy almonds. The health aspect, uh, what almonds brings to the table is um, is really encouraging. So that's what we're looking forward to is, is, is you know, what can we do? Um, you know, through a partnership with our almond supplier, we're coming up with a um, with an almond butter line this year. And so we're gonna start taking raw almonds and making almond butter out of it. And so we're excited to see what that does. Almond Bloom starts around mid-February. And that's when Sill says they will start to begin to get an idea of how the crop will turn out next season. In Shafter, Brianna Willis, 23BC News, connecting you.